The Porsche 911 is one of the most iconic cars of all time. The timeless shape and flat six engine are synonymous with speed and style. But there is now a staggering 25 different variants of it in production, and 21 of those are available in Australia. And this is the latest, the 911 GTS. But with so many choices available, it begs the question, is this just a set of stickers, or is it something special? Basically, the GTS fits somewhere above the sporty Carrera S, but below the racetrack-ready GT3, and without the complexity of all-wheel drive or turbocharging. It's got the 3.8-litre version of the classic six-cylinder engine, which produces 300 kilowatts of power and 420 newton metres of torque. That's enough grunt to launch it to 100 kilometres an hour from standstill in only 4.6 seconds and it'll keep accelerating all the way to 306 kilometres an hour. In here though, you get a real sense of what Porsche is trying to achieve with the GTS. There's the usual creature comforts, there's even four seats, but there's also these sporty touches like this Alcantara wrapped steering wheel. Back here, the Porsche boffins have added the wide bodywork of the all-wheel drive Carrera 4. That has allowed them to stuff in these massive rear tyres for even better grip, and the company claims that makes the GTS even more responsive and direct when pushed through the corners. Obviously, you can't push a car like this to the limits on the road, but it's pretty clear that the GTS doesn't lack for much in the way of performance. The engine is sensational. It is so responsive when you want to get on it, but it's really flexible and easy to live with around town. As for the grip, the engineers have done a great job because it feels so planted and so stable through the corners. What Porsche has tried to do is offer GT3-like performance, but without sacrificing everyday practicality. And they've succeeded. So, is the GTS a worthy addition to the 911 lineup? The answers are resounding yes, even if it does make the catalogue as thick as the yellow pages. It slots nicely between the Carrera S and the GT3 to give 911 buyers even more choice, as if they needed it.